How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make the fake reflections that you can see in this render right here. You can check it out on my Instagram if you'd like. It's a really easy way to add something more interesting to your renders. It's, it's certainly not the most photorealistic reflections, but when it comes to adding something interesting, you can make these really interesting fake reflections. But before I get into that, Today's video is brought to you by the Material Builder Suite. The Material Builder takes all the time out of creating unique, complex procedural materials. With over 100 group nodes ranging from custom patterns and textures you've never seen before to special nodes that give your materials sand, glitter, and many other really cool effects. Using a plug and play workflow, you can make hundreds of unique materials made for cycles. Hit the link in my description if you want to learn more. Now let's get back into the tutorial. All right, so we're here in a recreation of that scene you saw there on Instagram, and um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So all of these objects have the same material. Now this only works on objects with a lot of flat areas, and that's because this is simulating flat reflections, like an area light or a sunlight hitting right on a flat plane, giving you this really bright, really striking reflection. So let's get into how to make this. So you have your principle, and you can make it metallic or whatever you want. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get a mix shader, plug that there, and we're going to get an emission. So let's get our emission. I'm going to make it nice and blue and bring my strength at like 100, make it very bright. So now it's overtaking the scene. Let's get a color ramp just like this. Plug the color to the factor. And we'll get in the magic node, which is our layer weight really this is what makes it all work. So we're going to use facing, plug that into the factor. And then to really make this work, you want to go from linear here to constant. And that's going to give you that illusion of very flat sunlight reflection. So now we have that. If I take my empty, that's kind of controlling this whole scene and we rotate it. Now we have these really interesting, really quick fake reflections. It's almost like there's a light on the inside hitting it. And uh, you can have a lot of control over that with your layer weight. Um, so if we go back to the shading here, see so if we take our layer weight with the color ramp, you can make it as big or as subtle as you want. And you get some really quick faking reflections and it's really fun, add some spice to your renders. And there you go, thank you guys for watching, hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next tutorial.